Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use our leaf overlays in Photoshop. I'm using CS6, however, this will work in all versions of Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is open up your image that you want to add your leaves to. Then go up to File and go down to Place. Then you want to find where you have your leaves saved. I have a couple in here that I want to show you. Um, right here we have two of our different collections on here. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those. And as you can see, it covers the whole image. So then you can click on this check mark or hit enter and it will place your leaves. Now, what I want to do is erase some of these off of her face. And how you do that is you click on this button here and that will create a layer mask. Then go over and you want to get a black brush. Let me make mine a little bit bigger. And you want to set the hardness to zero. So then you just paint over the parts that you want to take off. And now this blurry, or this leaf collection does have some blurring on it, so some of the shaded area are leaves. And we can just take them off um, of her face, or if you want to take them off of her whole body, you can do that. I feel like it looks more realistic if you have some of them in front of her body as well. That way they're not just falling behind her. But I'm going to paint them off of all of it so I can show you how to paint them back on. Okay, so let's say that you erase some that you don't want to have erased. What you can do is go back and change it to a white brush, and you can start painting them back on. Just like that. Let's see, we can put that blur back on there. Blur them down here. Blur these back here. I'm going to keep them off of her face for this one but we'll bring back all of these other ones here. And that will bring them back. Now, you can also add individual leaves rather than the collection. So if you want to individually add leaves one at a time, we have several options for those there. I went ahead and pulled one, so I go to place. I pulled one to show you what it would look like to do that. As you can see, they come up really big, so we're going to have to make them smaller. So hold down your shift key, because if you don't hold down your shift key, then it will distort the leaf and it'll look really weird. And then you just drag the corners down while keeping your finger on that shift button. You can make it whatever size you want it to be. And then hit enter or click this button here. And now if you want to, you can click the move tool and you can change the rotation. And click OK. And you can see what it looks like there. What it looked like before. And you can do the same thing with any of our other leaves. Uh, we have several different shapes and sizes you can add on. And that's it. All you have to do. So I'll show you the before and the after here. There's the before, and here's the after. So easy.